Please sit back and relax. Close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths. And just get here, get comfortable. And congratulate yourself for getting here and listening to the Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast. Come for the chat, stay for the healing. My name is Dr. Cynthia Smith, and my co host and partner in crime is Kaylin, Kaylin Riley. And we're going to do a little journey, a little healing on grieving. Grieving for those that we have lost, and it might be an animal, a pet, or it could be a loved one, or someone that you know and admire that has left their body. So to the degree you can, kind of settle into your chair. And with every natural breath, allow your body to get more and more relaxed, more and more comfortable. With every natural breath, allow your muscles to relax, the muscles of your scalp, your face, the tiny muscles around your eyes, the muscles of your neck, muscles of your shoulders, arms, all the way down to your fingertips. The muscles of your torso, front, back, and sides. The muscles of your low back, hips, thighs. Muscles around your knees, lower legs, all the way down to your feet and toes. With every natural breath, allow those muscles to simply soften and relax allowing you to sink comfortably into the chair. Allow yourself to just be and allow waves and waves of relaxation to course through your body, bringing comfort to your physical body. And in the next moment, allow your attention to be a point of light. And put that point of light behind your eyes and in between your temples. We call this the center of your head or the center of your sixth chakra, your third eye. Be a point of light behind your eyes and in between your temples. And in the center of your head, this is where you have your knowingness. And you can look at the world from behind your eyes. And in the center of your head, when you look at the world from behind your eyes, you can have a sense of neutrality, a sense of being impartial, looking at the world as information. And in the next breath, in the center of your head, being perfectly relaxed, comfortable, your muscles softening with every breath. Imagine around you, three feet in all directions, a bubble. And give it a color, any color but white or black. Color that feels good on your physical body. So be in the center of your head, in your bubble. And your bubble represents your aura, your energy field, your personal space. And pick a color that feels good in your body, on your body, in your soul. And take a few moments and be in the center of your head and in your bubble.
And with every breath, allowing yourself to sink more and more into the chair. Or wherever you're sitting. And in the next moment, in your mind's eye, imagine a staircase of five stairs. And at the top of the stairs, feel the first step under your feet. And imagine a handrail. And reach for that handrail in your mind's eye. And as you step down, you're going to go deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into this subconscious mind, your resource state. And in your subconscious mind, it's where all your tools are, all your gifts. Your subconscious mind is always there to protect you and is always going to tell you the truth. And so in your mind's eye, as you take the staircase down, step five to step four, going deeper down, deeper down into relaxation. Step four to step three, doubling the amount of relaxation through your body, softening your muscles, sinking even more deeply into the chair. Step three to step two, deeper down, as so much as 10 times more relaxed softening, comfortable, relaxed. And from step two to step one, asleep all the way down to the deep, deep recesses of your subconscious mind. And in this deep, relaxed state, be there now. Be in the center of your head. Be in your bubble. Be relaxed. Allow it to be easy, comfortable. And in this deep, relaxed state, imagine a time when you felt perfectly safe. See how old you were? Were you inside or outside? Were you alone or with people? Was it daytime or nighttime? And find that safe space. And if you can't remember a safe space, imagine one. Where would you be? Who would you be with? In your present time body or at a younger age? And feel that idea of safety to course through your body. Be comfortable in your safe place, be happy. And in the safe place, grounded in your bubble, center of your head, knowing that you are safe. Take a moment and on the outside of your bubble, Create another bubble and have this smaller bubble on the outside of your bubble, maybe the size of a beach ball. And in that bubble, simply write the word grief. G-R-I-E-F. And in your safe space, just look at the word grief, at the concept of grief. Notice if you feel anything in your physical body, if it's hard to stay a point of light in the center of your head. And just be with that, and breathe. And if you find yourself moving out of the center of your head, just nestle yourself back in there. And look at the word grief from behind your eyes. 
at least three feet away. And as you look at the word grief, allow yourself to feel whatever you feel as you entertain this concept. For some, it's gonna be really juicy. For some, it might be uncomfortable to sit. And that's okay. So the concept of grief in that bubble, and it's not touching your bubble. So be in the center of your head and take that bubble that has the word grief written in it and move it farther away from your bubble. If it was three feet away, push it to six feet away. And see what that effect has on your physical body in your safe space, quiet, calm, comfortable, relaxed. In the center of your head, in your bubble, and then when you're ready, take that bubble that has the word grief written in it and push it another three feet or five feet away from your bubble. And notice what's happening in your physical body now. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel more comfortable? Do you feel healed? You can't do this wrong. So from the center of your head in this safe place, look at that bubble that has the word grief in it and give it a texture. The edges were smooth, maybe make them bumpy, jagged, or slippery. And give it a color. If it was clear, give it any other color. And when you give it a texture and a color, notice what it does, how you feel in your physical body. And this bubble that you've given a color and a texture to, bring it in closer. So bring it in to maybe six feet away in your mind's eye. How does your body feel now? How does your heart feel now? And with this bubble, with the word grief written in it, you've given it a color and a texture. Make it bigger or smaller. And see how you feel in your physical body. in the center of your head, in your bubble, in your safe place. Take that bubble with the word grief in it and change the color, change the texture. If you made it smaller, make it bigger. If you made it bigger, make it smaller. Make it flat or oval, egg-shaped. 
star shaped. And then see what happens in your physical body. And when you're ready, take that bubble with the word grief in it. And in your mind's eye, fling it out to the edge of the universe and blow it up. And know that grief is one of many emotions that we all have the opportunity to experience from time to time. And yet, as the master and commander in your own space, you get to decide how it affects you and how you want to process your grief. And with these tools, you're able to manage grief in at least a small part, a small way. And then when you've had some grief with a loss of a loved one, I invite you to practice this. Listen to this podcast again and see if it doesn't help you process the grief, the sorrow that you have for someone that you cared for and loved. So in this moment, in the center of your head, in your bubble, in your safe place, create another bubble on the outside of your bubble, perhaps the size of a beach ball, and put whatever positive qualities you need in that bubble, whatever you need to help heal from your grief. For example, love, healing, support, compassion, companionship, reverence, joy, laughter, Abundance, grace, ease, acceptance, whatever else you can think of that you need in order for you to help heal your grief, put in that bubble. Fill that bubble with gold energy. Gold has the highest vibration of the colors. And then an energy that I was taught by my friend Cheryl is the energy of and cooler than I could possibly imagine. It's a concept of whatever you might not be able to think of, but that would benefit you and cooler than I could possibly imagine. And take that bubble with the healing that you need, that bright, gold, comforting bubble, and bring it in to your bubble, and bring it into your heart space, and allow that love, that healing, that compassion, that joy, that understanding. Let that filter through every one of your 70 trillion cells. Let it filter through your body. And with every natural breath, it just changes you in the best way possible, comforts you. Take it in. Give yourself that healing. And in a moment, not just yet, we're going to walk back up that staircase. And you'll feel great. You'll feel energetic. But moreover, you'll feel healed, resolved, happy, glad you tuned in. So in your mind's eye, in your safe place, 
See that five step staircase. Feel the floor of the first step under your feet. And in your mind's eye, feel for a handrail. And we're gonna take a step from step one to step two. Maybe you wiggle your fingers and toes. Step two to step three, you start wiggling in your chair a little bit. You know this is gonna be a good day. Step three to step four, maybe you wiggle a little bit more. And step four to step five, eyes open, wake up. Hello, hello, come back to the room. Hey there, my partner in crime, how you doing? You muted yourself. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. The, a storm has just started here. I mean, wind blowing. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> well, <that's left. laughs> yeah. Well, this is a real joy. And um, I'm hoping that we can do this and really help some folks because um, I really feel that um, meeting you, you're kind of my sister from another mister. And um, it's just, it's been easy ever since we met and you're, you know, unquestionably reliable. And um, that's my love language, acts of, acts of service, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what would be your takeaway from today you know I am I was just thinking I am so looking forward to this because for selfish reasons me personally I don't take the time hi baby Laura. Um, I, I know come here um, I don't take the time for myself I don't mm -hmm. take the time. I mean, I, so for selfish reasons, I'm looking forward to this because this get together, um, let me say hi to Dr. Cynthia. <laughs> um, I'm going to be able to heal. I'm going to be able to take some time and not, uh, hi, <laughs> not, um, I don't want to say overburden, but I'm just, you know, for me personally, this is going to be a really good thing for me. And I think it'll be a good thing for a lot of people just to, to take that time for yourself. Some quiet time. If you're yeah. lucky. <laughs> you know, this is, and hopefully this recorded. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think it did. <laughs> we'll find out. Look, we can do it all again. I'm up for it again. <laughs> you know, moving forward, I think we're just going to find things that we find interesting, find things that we want to heal and chat about them and then give them a healing. And maybe one day you'll lead the meditation. I love it. Me too. I love it. All right. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.